nicknamed in English literature. He was constantly striking blows for the poor, preaching the love of humanity, and asking people to be kind and thoughtful to one another. He once said, when we begin having the Christmas spirit all year round, we shall make the earth a very different place. And in our sinful age, we cannot overlook the possibility. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing new dismay. Here we are now in merry old England, ready to meet Ebenezer Scrooge. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. Now I should tell you that once he was a kind and thoughtful boy, but through the years became a clutching, grinding, self-centered, self-indulgent old egocentric. He lived alone and denied himself any pleasures and felt all others should do the same. He even begrudged spending money on poor to warm his offers. He refused to give money to charity. Selfishness was his way of life. Good tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Christmas sets the perfect stage for a story about forgiveness and second chances. And maybe, with a little bit of magic, even an old miser like Scrooge might have a change of heart. Good tidings of comfort and joy.
Why, though you hadn't enough problems, you wouldn't got yourself married. Why did you end it with that? Because I found love. Ugh. One thing in this world more nauseating than a happy Christmas is the hypocrisy of a happy marriage with some lovesick female. Good afternoon. Let's go, Dad. There, there, my dear. We're off. My office still stands. You are always welcome. Just like Christmas itself! I said good afternoon! A happy Christmas to you, Uncle, and to you, Bob, and your family. You too, sir. Any business? Oh, and Uncle Lebanese. A happy new year! Good afternoon! <laughs> Christmas day off and you expect them all. Very well, take the day. Be here all the earlier the next morning. Oh, I will, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And happy Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. Be gone from here and take your infernal happy Christmas with you. That's another one. Fifteen shillings a week. A wife and children still speaks of a happy Christmas. Long in a lunatic asylum. A lot of them. Bye. 
Sean. It is no pleasure to me, madam, to be addressed by either of you. Mr. Marley has been dead seven years. Seven years this very night. We have no doubt, however, that his generosity is well represented to his surviving partner. A few of us are gathering some donations for the poor, so we can drink. What can we put you down for, sir? Nothing, madam. Nothing? You wish to be left anonymous? I wish to be left alone. That is what I wish. I don't make myself merry at Christmas, and I cannot afford to make idle people merry. They've been forced to support the prisons and workhouses through taxation. Those who are badly off must go there. But many would rather die than go there, sir. Well, but they would rather die than they had better do so and decrease the surplus population. Oh. Good evening. Good evening, sir. I abhor them. When I see the instrument classes, the air from the classes, the fire while motion passes, I hate people. Fools <laughs> who have no money spend it. to me, madam, to be addressed by Ivy. And Mr. Marley has been dead seven years, oh. seven years this very oh. night. We have no doubt his generosity is well represented with his surviving partner. A few of us are gathering some donations for the poor, some meat and drink. What can we put you down for, sir? Nothing, madam. Oh. 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 You wish to be left anonymous? I wish to be left alone, that is what I wish. I don't make myself merry at Christmas. And I cannot afford to make idle people marry. I have been forced to support the prisons and workhouses through taxation. Those who are badly off must go there. But many would rather die than go there, sir. They would rather die than they had better do so and decrease the surplus population. Good evening, madam. What is it, sir? Uh. For nothing, kickable creatures, I hate people. I, I abhor them. When I see the insulin classes, we hail from insulin classes, 65 while fortune passes, I hate people. have no money, spend it, get it, get it, try to end it, beg me on their knees, befriend them, knowing I have cash to lend them. <laughs> Soft art in me, hard work in me, clean living, thrifty and kind as can be. Are of interest to me. <laughs> but I hate you people. I love people. I despise and abominate people. Life is full of precious wretches, and in what their precious wretches. Empty minds who empty the stretches farther than I can see. Little wonder, I hate people. I don't care if they hate me.
be a free cannibal across every night in the upcoming year. In gratitude of your infinite kindness, you've given me another two weeks to pay. <coughs> One week. Ten days. One week. Nine. One week. Nine. <laughs> Put a lid on it. I'll take it home. Merry Christmas, sir. A penny for the little ones. Humbug! Let the little ones earn their own pennies like I do. Let me up. Blimey, is he? Oh, he's the number book for the Christmas he is. He's got stone cold art. On his merry way, no doubt, to deliver a Christmas kit to some poor penniless orphan. Oh. <laughs> Stop it, stop it, I beseech you! Do you believe me or not? I believe. 
I believe, but well, what is, why do you roll the earth and well, what is that long chain you wear? I wear the chain I forged in life. I made it link by link and yard by yard while on earth. And now I can never be rid of it any more than you will ever be rid of yours. Mine? Think of the weight and length of the mighty chain you are making for yourself. Your chains were as heavy and as long as this seven Christmases ago. You have labored you have labored at it ever since. It's a terrible ponderous chain you are making, Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, tell me more, Jacob. Speak words of comfort to me. You were always a good man of business. Business? Business? Mankind was our business. The common welfare, charity, mercy, and benevolence were all our business. Hear me, Ebenezer. My time is nearly gone. Please, this is a dream. This is not a dream, Ebenezer Scrooge. For pity's sake, Jacob, leave me in peace. It was for pity's sake I came here. Pity for you. I leave you with just the tiniest chance of escaping my fate. This night you will be visited by three spirits. Can't I take them all at once and be done with it? Expect the first when the bowl when the bell holds one. The second when the clock strikes two, and the third when the bell tolls three. I must go now. Look to see me no more. No. <laughs> Don't go. We have so much to talk about. Please. Remember for your own sake what has passed between us. Wait, Molly. Wait. Farewell, Scrooge. Farewell.
Isabel? Those were wonderful days. I did love her. Oh, oh, Spirit, why do you torture me so? Show me no more. One shadow more. Eliza, I've come to say goodbye. I'm going away and you will not see me again. No, I've been replaced by another love. Golden. Our contract is an old one. Name will be if we were born poor and content to be so. But In words, Heather. In what? In a changed nature. In anything that made my love of any value to your sight. You fear the world too much, Eliza. All the dreams that I've loved, I've seen them dawn out one by one. So, Happy Say something, you fool! Isabel? Isabel! You fool! You fool! Spirit, remove me from this place! Infamy 
duplicity, deceit, and subterfuge, and no one's worse than Ebenezer Scrooge. Though man, a handy candidate for hell, I must admit, sometimes life has its brighter side as well. Life likes me, life and I fairly fully agree. Life is fine, life is good, especially mine, which is just as it should be. I like pouring the wine, and why not? Life's a pleasure that I deny not. Like life here and now, life and I made mutual vow. Till I die, life and I will both try to be better somehow. And if life were a woman, she would be my wife. <laughs> what? Because I like life. Well, that sounds very good for you, but not for me. I hate life. Ah, oh, Scrooge, you're a bigger fool than I took you for. Here, repeat after me. I like life. Go on, life. That's better. Life likes me. Life likes me. I make life a perpetual spree. Perpetual spree? Eating food. Food so fine. Thinking who would like the privilege to die me. I like dreaming. <laughs> That's better, screws. I like thinking the thoughts I'm thinking. Hold on to my cloak, screws. We're going visiting. I think you're on for a piece of water. <laughs> Hold. Okay. Done. I hear music and I'm in a trance. Trap my knife. Oop, a pot. That's it. Oh, oh, we shall get a bad prize. Where there's music and laughter, happiness is right. Right. Why? Because I like lies. Yes, see how much we like lies. Over there lies. Hold. All right, go ahead. Over there lies the lavish home of Robert Cratchit Esquire who owes both the opulence of his surroundings and the magnificence of his Christmas celebration to the high principles and generous spirit of his employer. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Over there lies, still to this day, lies the largest home of Robert Clatchett Esquire who owes both the opulence of his surroundings and the magnificence of his Christmas celebration to the high principles and dreadfulness of his employer. That's you. Here too, doesn't he? We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. Yay! Here we are, the one and only Carol Patrick. To the return from the triumphant Christmas board. A region park and Christmas road. And how do you do, Tiny Tim? Ten pets, hey pets. Another fantastic coup by young Tim Crackett, the financial wizard. 
At only seven years of age, the youngest millionaire. Ask Preston. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, if I may steal a moment of your valuable time, I would have you drink to the sparkling good health of the two gentlemen whose industry and generosity have made possible this scrumptious Christmas dinner. Master Timothy Crackett yeah, yeah. and Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge. Please, the children. It's, it's Christmas. Happy Christmas, Bob. Due to a hard, rotten, dinky old miser of Please, dear, children.
father, hop to bed now. Watch and hold. Go ahead. Go ahead. Watch and unpleasant child. You know, there's nothing more nauseating than to see a happy family enjoying themselves at Christmas. Oh, what will happen to Tiny Tim? I see an empty chair in a corner. I see a clutch without an owner. But what is this, Scrooge? Concern for a sick child? Have you taken leave of your senses? Don't mock me, spirit. Will the child live? What does it matter to you? If he's going to die, then he had better do it and decrease their surplus population. Oh. Remember, Scrooge, time is short. Suddenly, you're not there anymore. No, no, no. Remember, time is short, and suddenly you're not there anymore. Wait! Spirit, don't leave me! We have so much to talk about! No, no! Please! Why is it so dark? I can't see! I can't see! Please help me! happen in the future. Oh, I fear you more than any specter I have seen tonight. I know that the purpose of thy visit is to do me good, and I am prepared to bear thy company with a ready mind and an open heart. Please, Spirit, lead on. Hold. Go ahead. You're good. Go ahead.
Merry Christmas! <laughs>